emergency call. Save our home. National Geographic just released a report of the top country that poorly managing plastic waste, gas. Indonesia was listed as number two. This nation produced 3.2 million of tons of plastic waste every year. And guess what? Half of the plastic waste are being thrown at the ocean. Our blue cerulean ocean that we always advertise everywhere around the world are being thrown by half of the 3.2 million of tons. This is an emergency call, guys. Save power. Save me. Every day, She religiously clean up the beach every day. So guess what? Last week, how many plastic waves did she get? 60 trucks. A few days ago, 30 trucks. I wonder, this is just Jimbaran alone. I'm not talking about Semina. I'm not talking about Uluwatu and the other places in Bali. Just Jimbaran. We know that rainy season, cause all the plastic waste to come all over the place to Bali. But is it just the plastic waste from other islands? What about our island, our home? Aren't you flabbergasted by these facts? I would like to call my panelists today to really emphasize about this issue. I have a really good friend of mine, Johanna here. Johanna is actually the owner of Living Well Cafe in Bali. Johanna herself is a very passionate person that I know. Yeah? She is very passionate about organic farming. So she has a huge organic farming. For me, it's huge. <laughs> huge organic farming. And she teaches people how to do organic farming. And her cafe is dedicating to organic, healthy lifestyle. Organic healthy lifestyle, that's, that includes on how to manage our plastic waste and our organic waste. Johanna has a curiosity like an elephant. <laughs> she always wondered, what should I put in my skin? Where that come from? I eat that. Where that actually come from? Thank you, Johanna, for being here. I'm so excited to have this discussion with you. The next person that I have, very exciting is Iketut Suwata, aka Bli Tut. <laughs> Bli Tut is not just being passionate about waste. He is actually a man that put action to his words. He built a waste bank in Apua. I would like to have more information about that. But it's not just about plastic waste. He managed organic waste. He is one of the person in Bali when I talk about ecoenzyme, and he directly know what is that. And apparently, he has been doing it. Wow. So, Blinktoon and Johanna are being part of Rotary Club of Bali Kachatu. Johanna is the president. <laughs> and Rotary Club of Bali Kachatu is tackling issue about environment. So, I hope this is really an action that is put into place. So, the next person that I have is Ben. Betty actually worked for a sustainable lifestyle hospitality company. So this is called Desa Potato Hat. I think Desa Potato Hat is not just like another hotel that I find. Because they are very aggressive in tackling environmental issues. One of the things that they have done is to check their team member bags. If they found you are bringing plastic bottle to the resort, ha ha ha, you cannot enter. You have to leave the plastic bottles. That aggressive. That fanatic. So I would like to hear further about her practices. She's a vegan herself. She loves animals. And wow, guys, I'm so happy that you can be here tonight and I can't wait for our discussion. So, the first issue. Waste. Johanna, we, we start from you. What is your view on the current status of waste in Bali? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so bad. You know, it's like we need to have action soon. Like you said, emergency call. Emergency call. Yeah. Yes. In, in your 
your cafe, right? You practice uh, a lot of different approach on tackling environmental issue. Uh, maybe you can share a bit, like, um, what do you do at Living Well? Uh, basically, uh, our Living Well is based on, you know, uh, where, where is a grow, eat, enjoy. Okay? So, grow is like, where, well, where is your food come from? You know, there's a lot of toxin that produced by farmer, by the uh, chemical, you know, rice or chemical. They, they destroy the land, yeah, make the land getting worse and worse, and the water, they go into the water and the underground. It's very damaged our body. Mm. Yeah, can cause cancer, hormone disorder, yes. a lot of a lot of issue, health issue that we are using, eating every day. That's why, yeah, we we promote like everybody mm. grow. You can grow organic. It's not difficult, right? Yeah. So uh, I hope uh, more and more people, even at home or in the business farmer, they can change the way to yes, to true. grow the food. And if it's like it's healthy. Mm. You know, if you have good sauce, then you can eat healthy. If yeah. you have good sauce, it's still toxin. Whatever you vegan, vegetarian, what you eat is always toxin inside because it's a, what the food is have the, you yeah. know, already uh, have a chemical on it, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then the way the eat is like also how you, you process the food. Yeah, you not put the artificial. Yes, <laughs> Yeah. 
say we can do anything, I cannot explain here, maybe we take one hour, they explain the expensive. <laughs> we have 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the, what is this, the bomb balls, bomb yes. balls basically is uh, very good for us to grow, to plan our refund. Uh, and then we have the last, uh, we have the mugwort. Mugwort, when we call this, is like the small uh, animals. animals there. And we grow there, and then we give the, uh, what is this, the, the, the waste, and then they eat it. After this, become big, and then we give it to all the, like, uh, all three. So it's very good. Um, it's supposed to be, it's plus, uh, what is this, the garbage, it, the trust is not, is Basically, you say that the trash that we have today yes. can be turned to yes. trash. Yes, wow. That's the one. That's the okay, cool, Vitus. We will touch back on that again. So, Betty, what is your view about current situation in Bali? I think, uh, according to my opinion, our problem is a lack of infrastructure. So, and there is no a proper or official plan how to deal with it. So, plastic waste is basically everybody's problem. Banjar and Banjar yes. educate people how to manage 
the waves when I understand. And action is actually really by having their, uh, being there and recruiting young generation. Maybe Victor, do you want to share on that? Okay, uh, so for me it's a good thing I can uh, train with uh, Rotary because it's a big uh, company and really they give me the support. First, when I stay in the Philippines, who will help me? I'm alone. <laughs> Yeah. Because when I talk with the government, talking with this, nobody cares. And then they say, no, 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 no. You see, yeah. like that. So, uh, the Rotary absolutely give me the support, and I started to making the, what is this, the, what is, uh, like, it's waste just, management, yeah. waste management learning center. What I mean is. So, uh, you built a learning center yeah, that we started, I think, in Apuan, right? Apuan is a village in Batu. Batu Iti. Yes. And okay. I uh, collect all the carpet and we start to separate the, because I educate the, 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 the people there. So, so you should be separate the carpet first from your, your oh. home. home. Your it's home is the center of the garbage, yeah. Okay. yeah. You have to separate and then easy to me to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, manage, manage yeah. the, the, the waste. Yes. And I have also the young people there. We call insect and rotary. Yeah, this is the young have, generation. Yes, young generation. We have to educate them. We have to support them. Educate because, them early. Yes. yes. Because now, if educated the people, the all the people after ten years or twenty years, they will only die, <laughs> and then start the next generation with the same manner. So yes. we need to support this one for the young because they are really it's like a white the paper. We need to draw nice for them. Okay, you're saying that organizing, so basically there is two ways here, organic waste and plastic waste. Plastic waste. Okay, so let's talk about the organic, uh, organic waste. Okay, organic waste, uh, we can make it uh, equation. So all of you know about the equation. It's absolutely, it's uh, the best, the best, uh, what is this, the fermentation, we can get it. Yes. Because we can make it the soap, we can make it the shampoo, we can put the cleaning. We can make it for yourself, for your everything yes. is that. Yes. Okay, yes. even for your toilet also you can throw it there and then you clean. Anyone here know about echo enzyme? So echo enzyme is actually made from your organic waste. Yes. So for example, orange, kale, you're eating orange, you're eating kale, you're eating apple, banana, and apple. So all the waste from here, for example, you put it in the your blender. Things that you do not eat, you put it in a bowl, in a box, and you do fermentation, like you do kimchi. <laughs> Very easy. But you don't eat it, but after three months, yeah, three months. you simply after three months, this fermented water is so useful. You can do it uh, as a soap, you can use it for cleaning the air, cleaning the uh, uh, um, your swimming pool. Yeah, swimming yeah. Pool. yeah. A lot of things can be uh, um, it's very beneficial. Yeah. Yes. I think something that you can teach in your learning center and how they can uh, turn organic waste. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's why you know when I make my uh, what is this uh, waste management, I make it like a beautiful garden mm. because everybody have the uh, what is like a mindset. This garbage is like a smelling nasty and it's not good for them. Mm. But I make it little bit when you came uh, come there and then you see the beautiful uh, <laughs> the what because of the compost that you make. Yeah. Right? You make All the is the coming so from the garden. <laughs> I make it again to make it something is different. I make it uh, so beautiful. Yes. So you can fishing there, you can cast the chicken. Really, they are eating in the organic uh, from the organic farm. So wow. you can cook it and then you can really work. It's like it's not you come there and then you just seeing the like uh, everybody thinking about the garbage, garbage sand or something. <laughs> it's, it's actually a yes. learning standard. Yes, learning and what standard. do you do with the plastic waste? Plastic waste, basically, the very easy way is not have no technology, is the eco print. Maybe one. Could so you turn way. the plastic that you use yes. into bricks. Yes. Yes. Cool. So first we have to get the all the plastic, and then you clean the plastic, and then you cut the plastic, and then you get the bottles like that, and then you fill it inside. Amazing. So make it okay. become the brick. Really, after this center, when what one I make it. Up to maybe two years, maybe no more plastic. Because what happened? Because all the plastic you created, all the garbage you uh, you you make it in your house, is no no more go 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 
Yes. <laughs> uh, totally on that. Okay, let's talk about Betty. Betty, what do you do in Potato Hat with the waste? Okay, so basically Potato Hat, um, now, and, and now and then, uh, we are actually sustainable um, lifestyle hospitality company. So as you are aware that we are having like very conscious in terms of environment. Um, so um, we act in the, in, in the village, we call it village that now. Yeah. So we have three properties, uh, mm -hmm. the first hotel, the beach club, and also the new hotel, the new very sustainable living. Mm -hmm. We created, we built in terms of um, uh, design, everything, inside the amenities, everything is eco-friendly. What do you mean okay. by eco-friendly? Okay, before going further, I also wanted to explain mm -hmm. that actually in the village, mm -hmm. we have what we call sustainable life. So, sustainable life. Sustain? Sustainable life. So that is uh, the lab uh -huh. that we already have. Like laboratory. Correct. Okay. We call it sustainable. Instead of sustainability lab, we call it sustainable lab. So we have machines, uh -huh. three machines, yes. where we collected all of the plastics around Dessa, our village, and we compile that. Out. We have our team, sustainable, uh, sustainable team. Yeah. So they uh, collected all the plastic inside the hotels and the beach club, and they separated which one that can be used as the amenities. And if you go to the new hotel and the beach club at the moment, at the moment you are closed, yeah. yeah. So uh, when you go later um, in our new hotel, you will find inside the hotel everything, every amenities is basically from inside. So you see the tissue box, <coughs> the soap container. Uh, it's all also made everything. from plastic yes. waste. Yes. Amazing. So yeah. a combination. Um, so basically, we also collaborated with international designer, mm -hmm. but also we also have a local artisan. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of uh, details that people who definitely like. Wow, mm -hmm. really? Is this from plastic? Is this from a uh, uh, shell? Yeah. So we even have uh, our uh, <coughs> restaurant in Beach Club. We call it Eden. That is the first restaurant in Indonesia that has zero waste philosophy. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be zero waste philosophy. What, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. So it means that if you see, if you go to the restaurant, that is city <coughs> restaurant, yeah? If you go to the restaurant, you will see um, the chair that you sit down, um, the table, everything. is actually made from waste. Mm -hmm. From the tire, from the foam, yeah? Even the glass that you use is actually from the broken um, wine glass. You cut it, you make it, yeah? Wow. The plate also, if you see some patterns, like colorful patterns, blue, yellow, whatever, it's actually from the broken glasses. Like yes. the so yeah. basically, we wanted to do everything, even when you are there. Thank you for uh, 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 highlighting about being associated with family members. You are not allowed to clean plastic. Mm -hmm. So if you are paying attention, because uh, let's say if I go out, they know already I'm um, a uh, member, member, right? So yes. my friend is like, oh, careful, careful, uh, Betty, uh, they will let you know. She will, <laughs> she will start fishing around about you uh, making a, bringing a plastic. Yes. So I always bring my bottle water. Oh. I always bring my hand sanitizer with a bamboo. Yeah, that yeah. is uh, refillable. Correct. Yeah. So I try to be, um, uh, not only represent potato hat, yeah, the company, but also I want to change. I want to be a role model. I yes. want to lead by example. Yes. So uh, a, a guest also coming to the hotel, they also are provided by zero waste kit. Yes. Bottle water uh, that you can refill, lunch box that you can go to the beach and bring uh, uh, to eat something in yes. the beach. Uh, tote bag, everything yeah. is actually uh, environmental. Wow, great. So we're doing, we, uh, I mean, We've been doing this um, since ten years ago. Yes. Yeah? yes. From baby step, people were like, "What? What are you doing?" And it's not work. <laughs> no. Yeah. At that time, yeah. But yeah. now it's going there, and people just I like that. Wow. So, are you, anyone here been to Potato Hat? Don't you think the place is beautiful? Yes. But apparently, there's all a lot of things there are made from plastic waste. Yeah. So I'm saying that plastic waste. Recyclable material can be also beautiful. Alright, so I think before we end, we all want to start to adopt a zero waste lifestyle. Yeah? To turn our organic waste, to turn our plastic waste into something. 
Myself, I actually only one year. I don't use shampoo anymore. I don't buy a bottle of shampoo. Either I refill that, I go to the box store, I refill. But lately, my friend introduced me to fermented water. <laughs> fermented rice water. So actually, I've been washing my, my hair with fermented rice water for the last one year. And my hair and my skull are doing just fine. <laughs> I don't need shampoo. I don't have to buy shampoo. Because if I uh, mentioned earlier about the facts, 3.2 million of plastic waste, 3.2 million of tons of plastic waste. If I divide that to 270 million, Indonesia, 270 million, right? So approximately every household per month are using about 21 bottles. That's about right. Yeah, you buy your shampoo, you buy your soap, you buy your uh, coffee, yeah? take away coffee, you buy your aqua bottle. It's about right. Sanitizer, a lot of things that we buy equal to 21 bottles per month. The plastic that we are going to see from generation to generation. Apparently, we can reduce that. We can, re we can use uh, uh, a thing. <laughs> Yeah. There are a lot of things that we can actually learn. Yeah. Yeah? Maybe Johanna, you can share just two tips for us how to start to adopt this lifestyle. Uh, from personal, from the family, from the business. Yes. Uh, for our yeah. that we always use. Refuse. Not just reuse, refuse. Refuse. The yes. first refuse. Mm. You refuse, you don't need to use that. Uh, the second is reduce. Yes. Uh, reduce, you can, you know, what you can reduce, don't need to use it, there's a lot, a lot of ways, right? Uh, and then reuse and recycle. Mm -hmm. So this is for R that we always keep in mind, whatever you do, whatever you buy, and then you, you think about that. Yeah, I think plastic is an amazing creation. We cannot live without plastic. <laughs> but I think what we want today is actually to adopt <laughs> that thinking, to change that mindset, yeah? To actually consider before you buy things. <laughs> and consider to refuse and reduce it, and reuse and recycle. Yes, mindset, I think, is something and that we have to start with. And as a supporter of the eco uh, businesses, yes. you know, support all these, like, that have concern about environment, we support them, and yes. let them uh, produce more. Correct. That. And that make them uh, be impactful in their in their environment and their community. Yeah. Yes. Maybe other tips study Bluetooth. <laughs> For me, is uh, is graphic is coming from you. So led by sample means uh, you have to give the sample first, and then we start with everyone have to start with the sample because all the lobby coming for you from your family, and if from family we start to reduce reduce the rabbit slowly slowly. We will not too much circle bits here, and then uh, our earth will smile again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Betty, any tips and tricks? I actually have two tips. The yeah. first one, as I mentioned, that be a role model, lead mm -hmm. by sample. I think it's easy for people to follow if you do the right thing. So everything is possible, it's just um, you have to share. We have to um, try to change the mindset of other people have to start from yourself. So I, myself, um, uh, are, are, are trying to be a role model uh, by trying Leading to- Leading by example. Yes, lead yes. by example, not doing plastic, uh, try to uh, stop, uh, try to think before buying, you yes. know, um, uh, uh, and then um, being, um, you know, and the second tip is you need to keep feeding yourself, but a lot of information related to sustainability, eco-friendly, and etc. There are also a lot of information in community that you have to catch up so that you understand what is happening and what's the progress of our situation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johanna. Thank you, Brita. Thank you, Betty, for being here today and to share your thoughts on how we can save our home. We do not need everyone to do zero waste lifestyle perfectly, but we need everyone to do it imperfectly, but just to start by changing our mindset. Thank you everyone.